Hi everyone and welcome back to 5 Minute Family Search. So this is a video that I'm actually going to cross post in Family Search and also in Ellis Island. So I just finished taping the Ellis Island playlist and I realized that there is a source that I want to attach and I'm going to show you how I found it and how to attach it. So here I am just on the regular Family Search page. I'm going to come up here to search and I'm going to go to records. Now the ancestor that I'm going to be searching is my great grandfather's brother. He came through Ellis Island and I want to go ahead and document that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Alphonse and I'm going to type in Vriesacker and I've already been here before so it auto fills. So I go ahead and click on Vriesacker and I'm just going to come down here to search. I'm not going to put in any more information. So when I do that, it's going to pull up this top record, Alphonse Vriesacker, and it says that he was a New York passenger, he's on the New York passenger arrivals list through Ellis Island, and it tells me his residence and his immigration date. I can come over here to the right, and I can view the record details, or I can look at the actual p image at Ellis Island. So I am just going to go ahead and click on this. And like I said, I've already done this in the Ellis Island videos, so if you want to see all of that information, you can just go into that playlist. But if you see, it's going to pull up this information, and I can copy it, I can print it, I can put it in my source box, which I definitely want to do. So I'm just going to say Add to my source box. I'm just going to leave it just like that, and I'm just going to hit Save. So now I just have a copy of it, and there will be another video that just talks about source box. But here I can see his given name, his surname, his last place of residence, the event date, his age, his nationality, his departure port, arrival port, his gender, his marital status, and the ship name that he came on. So if I wanted to look at the actual image, I could just come over here and click this button. And it would take me, well, I could click here, or I could just come down here, partner site, and I can just click there and it's going to take me directly over so I can see the actual image. But I'm just going to say I want to attach it to family tree. So when I do this, it's going to bring up a list of possible matches. So I know that this is him right here, Alphonse Rizacker. He was born in 1886, and I know that this is his unique ID number. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to click select. And when I do, it brings up this information. So it's Alphonse Friesacker. This is the actual Ellis Island information. On the right-hand side is Family Tree. So all of this information on the left is going to be added to the Family Tree list over here on the right, and then that's what will be saved. So I'm just going to push this Add button here and say that he immigrated here on August 8, 1920, and I'm going to go ahead and add in his residence and I'm going to click Attach. Now when I have done that, when I come over to him, Alphonse Friesacker, I can come up at the top of my screen and click there, or I can just say Alphonse Friesacker here, and I'm going to go ahead and look and see now it says one source has been attached. So I just went in and said Alphonse Friesacker came through Ellis Island and I put in that information so now when people look at him there is actually a documented record that gives information on Alphonse Friesacker and that is how we can connect sources into FamilySearch from other websites. 